Hi, and welcome to my watercolor channel. In this video, I'm going to be testing out three different paper brands. One is Yepo Fluid and Artist Tiles. We're going to check out how they look, and we're going to do an actual painting test where I paint the same thing on each sheet of paper and then compare it at the end to see how it looks different. Yepo is a paper that's gotten really popular in the last year. I noticed it's carried in a lot of watercolor stores, I mean art stores, and it's something that I personally don't enjoy painting with, but it is a really cool paper, so I've included it in this test just to give you a little bit of variety. So let's get started and let's see how each one turns out, and you tell me which paper you like the most at the end. So we're starting out with the Fluid 100 uh, paper. I really, really like this paper. And I'm doing a basic floral leaf. I'm gonna do the same thing on each sheet. I really love this style of painting. It's really fun for doing tests. You can just do some basic leaves on a sheet of paper and see how the water um, pools and how it moves across the page. Generally, like how it feels against the brush. Uh, Fluid 100 is one of my favorite types of paper that I use. I'm going to link below the paper that I actually use on a daily basis. I have an article about that. There are three main brands that I tend to stick to. But for this test, I kind of wanted to just try out some new paper, stuff that I think people might be picking up at the store, or even like a student grade paper, just to see what other people are talking about when they say student grade paper doesn't hold up very well. And from what I could tell, the uh, Fluid 100 paper did really well in holding the water. It didn't seem to bleed a lot. It didn't really bubble. For the Yepo paper, I show you how I'm doing the same design. It doesn't seem to really absorb the color or the water very well. It, it tends to pool and create kind of like a wet, bleeding sort of... Um, texture to the paper. It's The water seems to sit on top of the paper, which is something I really don't like about Yuppo paper. But if you're doing something like ink or something um, where you want that kind of a look, this might be a great paper for that. I kind of made these uh, flowers look a little bit more like starfish <laughs> in retrospect, <laughs> but that's all right. It's just a test, right? I just want to see how the water moves across the page. For the Yepo paper, it was really easy to move the water across the page, but it just didn't dry. Like you can tell the, the previous page I was working on, it really dried quickly. Um, but the Yepo, I went back to it later when I took the photo of all three pages and it just really was not drying. It takes a very long time. Um, I think it has to also do with the glossy um, sort of texture on the top of the paper. So now for the artist tiles, this one, um, I did think this paper was okay, but it really had a stiff grain on it that I didn't care for. So for this paper, I probably wouldn't work with this paper again, but for a student paper, eh, if, if you're on a budget, I think it's great paper, but otherwise I might not use it. So here's how all three turned out. What do you think? Which paper would you go with? And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again.